Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a get ready with me for my graduation. It's actually a promotion and it's because I'm going into high school. So pretty much I'm going to be doing my makeup. Also my cat's in the background. Okay, I just took a shower, that's why my hair is still really wet. But I'm gonna start with a moisturizer. My favorite moisturizer is the Ultra Repair Cream by First Aid Beauty. Next, I'm gonna use this Detox Eye Roller, which is also by First Aid Beauty. I feel like whenever I use this, it makes my concealer look so much better. So I highly recommend doing like an eye roller before because my concealer looks so much better. Especially if you have drier under eyes, then you should use an eye cream. For prime, there's been two primers that I've really been liking or like two that I actually trust for my skin. I have been using the Smashbox Radiant Photo Finish Primer and the Too Faced Tango or RX Primer. I recently put up a video all about clearing my skin. So these are the only two I trust right now. And I'm gonna use the coconut one because it's very refreshing. And since this is a nicer event than when I would normally wear makeup, I'm going to be using the Pore Professionals to make my skin look more flawless. I got too much. Okay, now that my face is red, we can move on. <sighs> my face is so red. This is just the Mario Badescu spray. I'm just spraying this to refresh my face. Okay, the fide- oh, that was not English. The foundation I'm going to be using is the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. This is my favorite foundation for like a formal event. Just because this one is a neutral finish, like it's not super glowy or super matte. And I'm just taking a Y6. I'm gonna move on to brows now. So I think I'm just gonna use my Anastasia Brow Pomade. And this is just an e.l.f. brush. The brow, the brows are done. And for concealer, I think I might just do some Tarte Shape Tape. Actually, I might do some NARS as a base because this one, the Tarte is lighter and it might be a little harsh. So I think I'm gonna mix them. The base is done. I'm gonna set my under eye real quickly with the Rimmel Stay Matte. And I'm just gonna use this dense brush from Morphe. It is the Y10, which is a little weird to put powder on, but I like packing it under so my under eyes won't crease. Actually, I'm gonna put on a little brow gel, the 3D Brow Tones by Benefit. It's actually in shade four, which isn't my shade. You don't really notice um, with this gel. For bronzer, I'm going to be using the Benefit Hula Bronzer. And I'm taking this Sonia Kashuk brush. I think it was a blush brush. And I'm just doing circular motions. And for blush, I'm going to be using some more Benefit. This is the Rocketeer blush. I'm not sure which highlighter I should use. The Maybelline Master Chrome or the Anastasia Amorizi highlighter. It's so pretty. I'm going to at least start with the Anastasia Amorizi. And this is the Morphe Y14. I'm going to add just a little bit of the Molten Rose Gold on top. Just because it is more pinky toned. So it blends well with my skin. Now I'm glowing. I'm just going to throw on some lip. This is my favorite lip balm ever is just by lip smacker looks like this it has spf 30 in it and i like the strawberry one for the eyes i'm going to be using the nudie patootie palette i love this palette i'm taking an m441 and i'm going to take undressed which is the yellow one well the light yellow not sure what kind of eye look I'm gonna go for. I think pretty simple and classy. So now I'm gonna go in with streaking and a little bit of um, reveal just on the outer corner. We're not gonna make this too intense. Then I'm just gonna go in with undercover, which is shimmery. And I'm gonna put that all over my lid. 
Okay, maybe just on like the first half. Yeah, just kidding. I'm just putting it all over my lid. The eye look is pretty simple. You know what? I might pop a little exposed in the center. Okay, I put a little bit of exposed, which is another shimmer in the palette. Put that on the top. And then I'm going to spray my face with setting spray before I put on mascara and lips and stuff. I'm just going to use the Urban Decay All Nighter. Make sure I soak my face in it. I wish I had a damp beauty sponge. So instead, I'll kind of just blend it with my Y6. This way, it will all just melt into my skin and it will work better. And also, because sometimes when you spray it, it leaves little speckles all over your face. For mascara, my favorite mascara ever and the only one I've been using is the Benefit They're Real. Even though I guess this is just my everyday natural mascara. But I think I'm still gonna roll with this one. Oh no. Okay, um, not a little on my lid, but that's fine. Here's how my makeup is looking. Oh, I need a lip. A few moments later. Okay, this is a very random lip. I'm pretty sure it's by like Estee Lauder, but somebody gave this to me and it's in the shade The Barest. Wait, no, it's The Barest Lip Color and it's in the shade O2 in the flesh. I just thought it was really pretty, so I'm going to test this one out. Let me tell you, this is very creamy. This one's really pretty. Like, it's very similar to my actual lip color, but I really like it. I don't know if I'm going to put any gloss over it. But I know now I'm going to change into my dress. Okay, I believe this is the dress I'm wearing. I'm going to have to try it on see how it looks. But I'm going to go change. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe and give this video a like and I'll see you in my next one. And also, don't forget to check out both of my Instagrams at Kate underscore makeup and at Kate Van Leuven. Say hi. Hi, Kate's the best makeup artist in the world and you should go follow her and if you don't, I will come to your home. Okay, um... I already filmed an outro, but I'll either put this before or after. I don't know yet. This is the actual final look. I switched up the hair a little, and um, I just put two clips. I have these star earrings. My earrings are from Brandy Melville, and I don't know where this dress is from. And yes, that is the look. Okay, thank you for watching.